Greetings, greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fuso, and today we have very interesting artist which is sitting inside uh, this special box. But I will open it to show it in a full scale, in a full beauty, because it's under the plastic. But without plastic, will be looking much better. Who oh, I hope so. Just and also I will try to feed it with some honey. Yes, she is slightly hungry. Yes, I didn't expect she will be so happy about it. So, and this is a queen of European hornet. I collected it a few days ago near the hollow tree where it was the nest of this queen. And actually now she's sitting in my jar and just I'm feeding it with honey. So I do not take it into my hands like some entomologists because she's stingy and I do not advise to repeat this experiment as well. So nevertheless it's very nice to feed her. So she became hungry as you see. So that's why she's licking the honey from this stick. And actually you can recognize that wasp does not have has any special like tongue. Her tongue is very very short. Usually if you feed bumblebees or bees they have a very long tongue which is helping them to collect nectar. This wasp doesn't need it because they do not collect honey, do not collect nectar, they can steal nectar and honey from honeybees because this is voracious wasp. By the way, and this is a name, the name of this wasp, this is European hornet. If you didn't know, actually, I try to stop her to stay here a little bit for the movie. That's why I use a special trick. I put some honey on the body. So that's why I hope so she will not be so active. At least she was feeding a little bit on honey, but she will not be able to fly so quickly as she did before, because she was sitting here, she was trying to fly. And do you afraid of this wasp? I hope so. I hope so, because she's not only voracious, she is also stinging. She is able to sting, because she has a very, very strong sting on the top of her body. Sting, this is just modified ovipositor. And of course the sting of this wasp is not very pleasant, I guess so. Because she's a big one. She's trying to walk around and I try to stop her. Of course she her wings became sticky. And this is good for my camera, maybe not good for wasp. And do you know why this wasp considered as a foil or not a friend for beekeepers? Because from time to time, sometimes this wasp can be hunting on honeybees. Sometimes they can steal even the honey from beehives. And actually a wasp is approximately four times bigger than the body of a honeybee, so she's stronger. And as I said, she is more powerful because she has a strong and long ovipositor of the sting. And with the sting she can kill different insects. Why she is vor voracious, as I said, because this wasp is collecting different insects for a purpose to feed her brood. And brood is saved in her nest, definitely. 
and that's why she's feeding them continuously during the summer and breeding this brood in a quite a big amount up to 500 or maybe more than 500 specimens individuals in a brood nest and of course it takes a lot of time and efforts to collect a lot of insects these insects they're cutted and queen or workers they're creating a meat piece of meat which is used for feeding larvae inside the nest definitely so I try to be careful and quick in very brief in my story because my artist is moving so that's why if you never heard about this nice wasp this will be a story for you if you know more so at least you will enjoy the picture of this insect because entomologists will do like insects but beekeepers will do like the honeybees they not only afraid they hate actually wasps they hate hornets they hate yellow jackets definitely because they steal a little bit honey from their beehives and they kill their honeybees definitely we will be not very happy about it that's why we hate them a lot but I'm more entomologist that's why for me to show the peculiarities of biology and behavior of this insect is quite interesting and I hope so it's interesting for you to see it in a very short distance so she is not frozen not at all she is not from refrigerator she is just sitting uh, just in front of me on the sunshine enjoying sunshine and trying to clean her body making a grooming the grooming is uh, very important to clean the body feeding is, uh, is uh, important as well because it's a good to restore to restore the power so so she's escaped a little bit so I put it on my brush so this I use a brush as a stick to move this nice lady from one place to another to put, put her In the right way, just in front of my camera. So you see, it doesn't feel like a good because her abdomen and body covered with honey. So she's not so happy about it. Definitely, she's trying to clean her body and move a little bit so and I try to be careful don't disturb too much here yeah but she is trying to move up so now you see her voice forceps yeah forceps there's a place for resting yeah she's trying to clean the body as much as possible because it's quite unpleasant actually I have not only this nice queen I have also another individual I have a, another male here in my another jar a male is more quiet because male doesn't sting and but flying very well flying really very well so that's why I showed already it before I try to put them together just to see the reaction how they will copulate or not but without any 
particular direction. So I try to show it for you just now. This is a queen and male will be coming just here. From here this is a male is coming. I want to put them just in front of the light, so we will not escape. So I think we will go in front of the light. The male and female, they just, they just... Ah yes, male found that she is sticky and she is sweet very much. It's sweet very much. Yeah, this is a good idea. Sometimes insects they help each other to clean the body. So this male is also trying to clean the queen. And it's helpful for her so she became very quiet as well. A very funny situation. When male is cleaning the queen yeah, you see, on the top, uh, this is a male with a lone antennae, and just down there, this is a queen, big one, which is just trying to clean the body, and she is also trying to feed on honey on her body. She is not sexually active, but at least she is uh, helpful for her, give a little bit food, so interesting reaction. At least we recognized each other who is who. Yeah, so she's Queen just moved to another place. too busy about food. Queen is not so busy. She's trying just to escape. She's just trying to escape. Male is happy about food. Oh yes, yes, yes. For her it's also a good idea to clean the body. This is on the left side, this is a male, and in the center, this is a queen. So we are both eating honey, and now just clean both just the box. Oh, yes, now we are kissing each other. Kissing each other. So I hope this was interesting for you to see the communication of male and female the queen and a drone of this uh, very nice insect this european hornet which is still sitting here inside the male is trying to escape and female is trying to escape as well i hope it was interesting slightly entertaining for you because it's not so easy to find this wasp in the nature and to play it like that so but i do not advise you do not recommend you to repeat it yourself because this is a different experiment and if your insect will escape it can be dangerous for you and if you cannot recognize that this is a male this is a male with long antenna another queen or females 
will be pretty dangerous because they can sting. So be careful about it. So I can show you. This is inside the petri dish. This is a queen. So be careful. Thank you if you liked this video. Press like, write your comments and ask your questions. I'm looking forward to see a subscriber. And I hope you have seen some interesting moments or behavior of this lovely insect. These two male, female, the drone and the queen. And this is a queen. Bye bye, see you soon on my channel. Subscribe. Best greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, from Victor Fuss of Entomology, the beekeeper teacher, and from European Hornet, Vespa Rubro from the family Vespida Hymenopterus insect, which is a social wasp. Bye bye, see you soon on my channel.